Hello, it's LaRue Epler with theweeklywhisper.com. A few months ago, I talked to you about having conflicting desires. And in my video to you on May 2nd, I talked about having painful desires, that sometimes we desire something so intensely that we actually experience pain and suffering when we don't have it. This could show up with relationships or a job or money or really just about anything that we have a desire for. So what does desire have, any, have anything to do with um, your inner guidance or hearing the whisper? We have uninvestigated desires that are creating pain and suffering in our lives. And sometimes we don't even realize we're having pain and suffering. But what happens is it, it runs as interference. It's like static on the phone line. It makes it difficult um, or challenging, sometimes impossible to even hear your inner guidance. In my video two weeks ago, I talked to you about, I was going to share some tips and pointers with you for um, detaching from these desires that are causing you pain. You see, I believe there are two types of desires, one of them originating from the soul and the other one originating from our conditioning. Our conditioning being our past. And oftentimes, many of our desires are coming from that level. It isn't something that we really want. Um, I've purchased things in my life that after I had it a while, realized, why did I really want this? You know, there's a lot of effort to, to keep this up, or it cost a lot of money. And after I investigated it, I realized it came from my conditioning, from society or my family or, or wherever it might have come from. And it wasn't really true to my heart's desire, my soul's desire. To help you detach from these desires, I'm going to give you three or four questions. And I'm going to recommend that you actually um, don't do these in your head. Write them down so that you can bring consciousness to these desires. And then you can really look from a very clear, authentic place. So why do you really want this desire? And what do you think having this desire is going to give you. Oftentimes we're going for things and we haven't really thought about or become conscious to what it is that we think it's going to give us. Sometimes it won't give us that at all. And will having this, when you manifest it, or if you manifest it, will having it really make an intrinsic difference in your life? In other words, will it help you fulfill your purpose? Will it help you live with greater joy? Will you learn some life lesson from it? Not all desires that we manifest have to be an intrinsic desire. You know, help us fulfill our purpose. Maybe they're just, it's just the, the joy of experiencing something. That's okay. We're not making desires right or wrong. We're just asking you to bring consciousness around it and to look at it. I hope that today's video has been useful and helpful and thought-provoking for you so that when a desire arises, even if it isn't a painful one, you can still use these questions to go in and investigate and see if it's something that you really want to invest your life energy into and your time and your love and your money. Bye for now. See you next time.